Baltimore Ravens are sitting at 5-2 and two right now, one of the best records in the NFL. Their offense just got a 32-point victory over the previous 5-1 and one Detroit Lions, who were one of the hottest teams coming in the M&T Bank Stadium. The defense is allowing the fewest points per game, and they're second in the league in allowing the fewest yards per game. So the Baltimore Ravens got a lot of stuff going good for them. So what would we have to complain about? What, what are the issues? Well... There's one big issue that just keeps rearing its ugly head, and that is the fumbles. And thank goodness that with the fumble that the Baltimore Ravens had between Lamar Jackson and Justice Hill in this previous game, while it did take away points from the Baltimore Ravens because they were in good field position, it was looking like they were getting ready to score again. In the worst case scenario, they could have attempted a field goal, but the way that they were playing probably would end up being another seven, but who knows. Uh, but the fumbles... They, they, they cannot continue to happen because not every game and not every situation is going to be like it was on Sunday because, thank goodness, the Ravens were up big. Thank goodness they were up big uh, because we've seen it where the Ravens have not been up so big and they fumbled, and that has led to another team getting the ball and the other team scoring points. But something that was very interesting that I didn't even know, or maybe I just glossed over it this past offseason that Jonah Schaefer brought up when it came to Lamar Jackson and Justice Hill. Uh, let's just read his direct tweet. He said, Lamar Jackson and Justice Hill had issues with their footwork and communication as far back as training camp. Not encouraging that the Ravens haven't ironed those out yet. And I was thinking, oh, so this has been an issue for a long time since training camp. Training camp was back in what August, and we this is October. So that was this has been going on for over two months. So this this thing got it has to get fixed because we don't see this issue uh, at the mesh point with. Gus Edwards uh, with Keith Mitchell is too small of a sample size to even say anything because he just got his first regular NFL carry uh, the other day. Um, so that's a problem, though, that, that that's a problem that they have to get it fixed, because if they don't get it fixed now and it lingers and it continues throughout the season, it's going to be an issue. And that's the thing. We don't want Justice Hill to be benched. I, I've seen a lot of people calling, oh, yeah, Justice Hill needs to be benched now. They just need to give all his carries to Keaton Mitchell. I don't think that's the case because if you see Justice Hill and you've seen Justice Hill, like, the boy can play. He can play. He can make some plays in a running game. He can play, make some plays in, in the pass game. He can make some plays, and he gets some big chunk of yards. He gets some chunk plays. So we don't want to take that away from the Baltimore Ravens. We don't want to eliminate that from the Baltimore Ravens. But – they need to get this thing fixed ASAP. And Ravens overall, the, 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 the fumbling issues have to be fixed ASAP because it's important that you recognize what your issues are early on. And this is why I always say, because I know there will be some people, like when the Baltimore Ravens lost to the Steelers, when uh, they lost to the Colts, there'll be people that say, oh, we, ne we needed those losses. No, you don't need losses to, to correct stuff. You don't need losses to fix stuff. You need to be willing to see what the issues are even while you're winning. You need to still be able to look for, all right, how can we improve even while things are going good so you can get them to be even better. Now, Lamar Jackson, um, again, after a 32-point victory, you would think that Lamar was all smiles and he was all happy and stuff. And, oh, yeah, 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 we did it. We did it. Our offense was rolling. But you know that he wasn't. Uh, Sarah Ellison, she had uh, tweeted a quote from the presser, and she said Lamar Jackson was asked why he doesn't appear very happy after a 38-6 to win. And he said, I mean, I'm all right with winning, but it's still the regular season. We made strides with improvement from last week and earlier this season, but it's just one regular season game. Now, that's funny because that's something that we were talking about yesterday with Eric DaCosta in the Ravens front office with them speaking to Indomitian and Sue. And that kind of lets us know like they still looking to get even better, even though they sitting there five and two. They're still looking to get even better, so they're not content. They have a good record right now, but they're not content. They have a good team right now, but they're not content and they want more. And I love that. But here specifically with Lamar Jackson, you, you're sitting at 5-2. and two. You're the quarterback of the Baltimore Ravens, and you know you play a vital role to everything that the Baltimore Ravens do in all of their success. Everything goes through you. And you just had probably your best game statistically of this season thus far, 
And you're not all smile and giggles because oh, he's not content. That's not good enough. He said it's just one regular season game. He wants more. Now, Kimberly A., who <laughs> she shut down Stephen A. Smith the other day when he was all saying all his nonsense about Lamar Jackson. She said, I asked Lamar Jackson this because this is what people failed to see. Lamar was hot after Hill's fumble. He was upset at himself for missing Andrews in the end zone. And Baltimore was dominating. So she said his expectations for himself far exceed what we think his only mission since 2018 is to bring a Super Bowl to Baltimore. So, again, I appreciated how she highlights how Lamar, d despite being up, despite winning big, like there will be a lot of people and you could get why they would be like that if they were up multiple scores. If there was pretty much a blowout game. And they missed a the play. They were like, ah, we blowing the little boys out anyway. Well, we, we, we beating them bad anyway. Uh, we ain't worried about that. And you could understand how people could be like that. But she said, well, Lamar Jackson, no, 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 no. He was heated. Heated. When they made a mistake. Heated. When stuff went wrong, even though they were blowing them out. And like she said, dominating. Still upset. And I, I, I love that and I appreciate that because... That lets us know, like, oh, no, that that's not good enough. That cool performance that we did out there just now, but that's not enough. We we got to be better. We got to do more. Now, um, when you think about the the mesh point and what the mesh point is, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, and, and anybody, let me know if I explained it incorrectly. But the mesh point is on those sort of RPO plays. Uh, where Lamar Jackson, he'll start off with the ball, he'll snap the ball and have the ball in his hands, and the running back will come to him, and Lamar will put it in the running back's chest. Like he's about to either hand it off to him, but this can sort of freeze the defense because the defense doesn't know, like, all right, is this going to be a handoff or is Lamar going to pull the ball back and end up making a throw? So the mesh point is that point where the ball is right there in the running back's chest or right in the running back's stomach uh, to where Lamar either lets it go and gives it to the running back or he – pulls it back himself and keeps it or he ends up doing a pass play but that right there has been an issue uh with Lamar Jackson and Justice Hill specifically not any other running backs but definitely uh with those two now Harbaugh was asked about it and Harbaugh said that it's been a different issue each time uh, on the Lamar Jackson and Justice Hill fumbles at the match point he said we have to be perfect in that area and yes if they could get that down and just the fumbles overall on this football team uh, then they can go such a long way. Like we've talked about all year, when Ravens don't, and, and again, it's not to take any credit away from other teams like the Colts and the Steelers and whatnot, but when Ravens don't beat themselves, when they don't become their own worst enemy, they do a phenomenal job, man, and they get the job done. Uh, but you remember, and there's even been times when they have been their own worst enemy, and they still end up coming out with the victory uh, in those games. But against the Steelers and against the Colts, Ravens just continue, continue to let stuff pile up and continue to beat themselves up. Uh, and then, hey, the other teams end up taking advantage and squeaked out a win at the very end. And that's unfortunate. Uh, but Ravens have to be a lot better. And they, I appreciate that they know they have to be a lot better. Uh, and I'm sure they will be a lot better. Now, with Keaton Mitchell, speaking about Keaton Mitchell, because he's been somebody that we've been excited about, hoping that, all right, well, hopefully he can get some more playing time in. Uh, Keaton Mitchell, John Harbaugh said he got a hamstring injury. And uh, it's not really looking good for this next upcoming game. Um, but maybe the week after, maybe he'll be back then. So we'll see. So, again, with Justice Hill, I, I figure, like, after that fumble, I said, oh, yeah, Keaton Mitchell about to get a lot more carries now. But that was the reason why we didn't really see him. Well, I mean, why we didn't see him uh, much after that. So we'll see how that goes. So, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you do not, do not miss not one single update for your favorite team, those Baltimore Ravens. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. And we out.